Pokemon Academy Live in the previous video. Basically our entire day schedule got explained by the president Roxanne and I'm pretty sure fairly soon it's probably gonna happen in this video where we have to pick two electives, two types, so haven't given it too much thought but I think I'm just gonna keep it fairly basic with at least one. So I'm thinking one is either gonna be fire because you know I love me some May or water because I like Tsundere Misty as well so it's a little bit close. We can actually go water and fire but that'll be a bit too basic. I want to keep at least one of the you know one of the very basic types and then one of the more types that got introduced later on like dragon or I don't know what else but yeah one of those we'll see. All right Brendan let's get the show on the road. Which two electives will you choose? There are 18 known Pokemon types. I have to decide carefully which two types should be my electives for this year. Oh wow, straight off the bat, huh? Just like that? Okay, immediately. So, holy crap. Okay, let, let's go over all of them fairly quickly. We, from left to right, we have Fire, Fighting, Rock, Ground, Electric, and Bug. Psychic, Poison, Dragon, Ghost, Dark, Grass, Fairy, Normal, Steel, Flying, Ice, Water. Alright, so Fire would put us in the same class as May. Um, uh, she said that. Water probably, it's either Misty is going to be in the same class or she's going to be the teacher for it. Um, Psychic, we saw that one girl. We saw that one girl. Like she had this like purple aura around her which I'm just pretty sure out of all the types if you had to name one type for her that would fit her. Definitely Psychic. So those are three girls or we're always sort of thinking like hmm you know. Even though we don't know the Psychic Girl at all, but water or fire? I mean, water beats out fire, but ah, May is awesome. May is really, really awesome. Hmm. Alright, so we we can go with May. I'm, I'm still thinking of what my possible second would be. Probably fire for the first. Uh, fighting Rock, Ground, Electric, Bug, Poison, Dragon, Ghost, Dark, Grass, uh, Ghost. I'm not too sure about Ghost. Flying, ice would could be cool, dragon would be cool, fairy would be like, I don't know, if, we, if we're looking for a cute girl maybe, I don't know. Fairy seems like a type not to be sexist here of course, there's no sexism in Pokemon, but fairy seems like a type where only cute girls would go to, like, oh yeah, Clefable and Clefairy. Hmm. You know what, it's all about them girls. We're gonna go fire with the first one. Yep, we're gonna go as fire as an elective. Yes. All right, one more to go. We got fire. I mean, we could go fire and water, but uh, I wanna take one that's a little bit out of the box as the second one. I think well, fairy was was one of the earlier ones of, as well, but I don't think it was specific an elective or a type early on. Could be wrong about that, but yeah. I really wanna go fairy or dragon. It just it just comes down to like, hmm, so we go for the cute one or the badass one, and the badass one is obviously dragon, hmm, I mean fire and dragon, fire and fairy, ah, you know what, I'm gonna go with the badass here one, sorry fairy, sorry cute girls, badassery wins out this one, alright, should I go with dragon as an elective, yes, dragon, fire dragon. You selected fire and dragon as your electives. Let's see. You picked fire and dragon. I chose grass and ground. Ah well. Poor Brendan. Like I said, I was just messing with you earlier. Yeah right. I'm pretty sure if we didn't say anything to him about it, he would he would have picked the exact same as as us. But now it's like, hmm. Okay, he doesn't like it. Oh no no no. And then we'll just you know pretend not to pick the same ones. Don't slack off just because I'm not in your class. Well, there's always homeroom we don't know about yet. What a day, bro. Imagine, next week we're really launching a brand new life here at the school. He's right. It all starts after this weekend. Alright. Despite the heavy force of exhaustion bearing down on me, I continued to sort through my belongings and finished unpacking everything. The full onset of night was here and going to sleep would be common sense. However, being able to fall asleep was a totally different story. To say I wasn't excited would be a blatant lie. I'm hundreds of miles away from home, and now I'm here at this academy with countless new people to meet. Just a few more days. I can't wait. Oh yeah, so excited.
Y yo tao. That Brawly? Roxanne. That was Flannery. Who's that cherry or something, right? Not cherry. Holy crap, that was awesome. Alright, we're just gonna skip right through the weekend. Nothing exciting happens on the weekend, not in Pokemon Academy life. Oh, we even got a PC? Hell yeah. Look at that, before the room was empty, and now it's just like, you know, it, it's like, it's like I'm at home. Two PCs, well, I wish. It's finally the first day of classes. Over the weekend, I've spent most of my time setting up the room and getting used to the campus. Relic Hall is surprisingly big. It's got this huge auditorium, a student lounge, a library. I still get lost sometimes, even with a map. But I'm slowly getting used to it. I haven't been able to check out the academy building yet. It's been off limits since the school opened its doors but it's recently been available for students. I'm dying to see who'll be in my classes. That same chill I felt from when I first got here snuck up on me again. I'm getting goosebumps, oh yeah, I'm so excited. Let's do this. Ready to go get some breakfast before the big day? We're heading to the main cafeteria? Never skip breakfast, oh yeah. I'm ready, let's go. Exactly, never skip breakfast, the most important meal of the day. May was waiting for us at the entrance. Oh, May, hello, May. I'm gonna steal your girl away from you, Brendan. I didn't get to see her much over the weekend. Even if Brendan and I had to run the same types of errands, I wasn't planning on third wheeling the whole time. Speaking of third wheeling, I still haven't met her roommate, Leaf. Hopefully we'll bump into her today on the way to class. She can't possibly skip the first day of class, right? Right, character cards updated for May too, I think, or Leaf. Uh, the main ca cafeteria is absolutely massive. Well, the student center as a whole is a massive building, second only to the academy's main building itself, which all the students just refer to as the academy. Here in the cafe, hundreds of students can be seated simultaneously and most importantly, comfortably. At first I thought space would be an issue, but I was surprised to find out the opposite is true. Morning hours tend to be the most hectic as students from all different grades file in, but operations run smoothly nonetheless. It certainly makes <laughs> It certainly makes things easy when various Pokemon help with surface, while the academy staff handles the cooking and talking. Then again, this isn't the only place that serves food on campus. Many students opt for the smaller cafes and lounges located in the other buildings, such as student facilities or residential halls. We're just here because it's close to our classes. Oh, are those? Yeah! Over here, Cherno! Trevor! Huh. Morning, guys! Okay, are these supposed to sound, look familiar to me? Dang, I really don't remember this. This has got to be from a new generation, because if they're not, I'm going to be pretty embarrassed. The names don't really speak to me either. Cherno, that's that's the big guy. And Trevor is the other guy, which I 
originally thought was a girl, but no boobs, so yeah, guy for sure, alright Trevor? Good morning everyone! You guys ready for the day? Get a good night's sleep? Yep. both Travs and I thought we'd get no sleep, but I passed out no problem! I thought I was pretty excited last night, but now it's finally the day! Whoa baby, my soul is lit! Cherno and Trevor are roommates, they happened to room just a few doors down from ben Brendan and me, so we bumped into each other a few times over the weekend. From what I've gathered, Cherno is a huge fan of music and dance. <laughs> DJ Chesto, nah. Well Trevor is more of the outdoorsy type. They're both from the Kalos region, and it's cool how they are, uh, how two very different people have been great friends for such a long time. Yeah, that's gotta be. Even the the word like Kalos region, like oh my god, I should really watch the newer Pokemon series probably. But I still have to catch up partly with black and white, I think. Oh my god. This has really got me pumped about watching it again, probably. Oh? Where's Leaf May? <laughs> you never got to meet her once, did you? Yeah, what's with that? We had so many chances to hang out, and we still don't even know what she looks like. Leaf's an interesting one. Even I rarely get to see her. She keeps a busy schedule. A little too busy, I think. But I swear she does exist! Uh, uh, uh. Are you sure, May? It's not your imaginary friend. Oh, I was going to ask earlier, but I forgot. What type of electives did you pick, Luda? Oh, you're gonna be surprised, May. Fire, yeah. And dragon. So you did end up picking fire. How exciting! We'll be seeing each other in class. Yep, indeed we will. Anyway, I think it's amazing how there are so many Pokemon types to choose from. And only by, uh, by only picking two, you never know who's gonna end up in one of your classes. I can't say it enough. It's just so exciting this way. May really enjoys the unpredictable. It's how she ended up rooming with Leaf after all. Did you know your type's preferences can be tied to your personality? For example, Mei's preference for fire can mean she has a lot of inner strength and can be very excitable. Her preference for fighting can mean she's generally very active and won't back down from her ambitions. Why does it sound like compliments all around? I guess that reasoning works too, but I mostly chose fire and fighting because I really like the Torchic evolutionary line. Oh, that's true. We we should have like probably picked a Pokemon that has like sort of like dual types, and therefore we could possibly you know pick that Pokemon because um, the last evolution of uh, Torchic Blaziken, he's both fighting and fire, so it makes a lot of sense for me to pick those two. But which Pokemon is both fire and dragon? Um, I have, none really come to mind. Is Charizard a dragon? I don't think he's classified as dragon type. Definitely fire, obviously. Um, Salamons, maybe? I'm not sure. This is cool! I never heard about this before. What are your thoughts on Ludas? Dragon is generally tied to great power at the cost of hard work, effort, and a lot of time. So for someone with a strong preference for dragon types, extraordinary patience and diligence often come into play. Not many people are like that, which is why dragon masters are rare. I guess I can say I have some inner strength, so the fire type makes sense. Though, it feels a little weird saying that myself. Expression increased, hell yeah. That's so cool! What about me, Trevor? Hmm, I think we're loitering around a bit here too, for too long. Let us talk about it on the way to the cafeteria. Sounds like a plan, let's go then. Alright! Character cards updated, I need to check those out, we haven't had any time to do so. It's clear we're not the only ones who are anxious. The unintelligible but fervent clamoring, mostly from students stuffing their mouths full and dashing out of the cafeteria before they can finish chewing, all contributed to the infectious hype. Back home, or rather any school from any region, I doubt it's possible to find so many students as excited about their first day as the students here. Exactly, like you know, usually when you're like 
first day at school, you're like, oh god, we're here again. But in, with Pokemon Academy, you're just like, oh my god, yes, the first day is here. Like, I'll almost faint, probably. I'll admit, I became a victim of this atmosphere. I ate quickly like a madman, shoving my last piece of toast into my mouth like the many students before me, and got up from my seat. Wait, did the others, like, ditch us? I think they ditched us for f They ran away, right? And we were ended up eating on our own. That's a bit sad. Whoa! This area of the campus is amazing! I look up and see the symbols embossed on the facade. Kobo Khan Academy. Supposedly this building has been around for nearly a century. It's hard to believe. The condition of this place makes it seem like it was built yesterday. It's funny that the text Kobo Khan Academy is like spelled out in the knowns. I'm having a difficult time imagining that this is what I'll be looking at each day from now on. Not that I'm complaining, I'm just excited to be here. First thing on the agenda is to check the homeroom assignments. Right guys? Guys? Guys, please, are you here? Ditched. <sighs> I was so deep in thought that I didn't realize I'm alone. Maybe I walk too fast. Or are they ahead of me already? Regardless, I need to get inside and check the homeroom assignments. Alright, first class. Ooh, 1A, 1B, 1C. Weird. I still don't see the others. You figure two big guys like Brendan and Cherno would be hard to miss. There's a cluster of students gathered by a bulletin board. That must be the homeroom list. Hmm. Oh, Birch, Oak, Sycamore? I don't know Sycamore. I know Oak, of course, Professor Oak. Birch is from, that's from Hoenn. Yeah, Professor Birch. So that's the father of uh, May, right? Hmm. I quickly scan through Professor's Oak list, and I immediately spot my name at the bottom. <laughs> oh yeah, Luda is in Oak's class. Awesome. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. It, uh, it's also in a different font. Like I was a last minute addition to Oak's class. Ah, uh, did Oak pull some strings? He's like, oh, I want Luda in my class. And then, you know, they made the last minute switch or something. Hmm. Let's see what else is in my class. Well, well, well. No. I said, well, well, well. I heard you the first time. At least look at me when you're talking to me. But wow, you actually got here before the bell. Still slower than me, but that's natural. So, which class are you in? Your grandpa's. According to this, how'd you miss my name? Oh crap, I just said Gary motherfucking Oak up. He's really gonna say something condescending. Like my name isn't even worth a glance. Or maybe not? Grabs? Are you serious? I guess it'd be kind of surprising for both of us to get in the same class, considering the huge number of students in our year. I wonder if Professor Oak set, him, uh, set this up himself. I hope he's not going to be playing any favorites this year. Why? I thought I told him to... Ah, who cares? Now I have a front row seat to watch you bomb in class. Oh? You're always Professor Oak? That voice. Oh, great flaming Moltres. It's that girl. I'm, I'm like 75% sure that she's Leaf. I wish, I sure wish I knew her name. So I can offer her more than a feeble hand wave. Long time no see. Did you get lost on the way here? Hey, give me a break. I thought we're done with that. Didn't you say you had fun? Hey, don't get it twisted. I had lots of fun. You know this windbag? Um, uh, excuse me? Don't interrupt a girl when she's talking to her friend. Yeah, right. I bet you don't even know his name. Obviously, it's... Psst, Luda. It's Luda. Mm. She leans over and whispers in my ear. She's so close, I can smell a sweet fragrance coming off her. Psst, what's your name again? Oh, way too close for comfort. No, I could get used to this closeness. Uh, 
It's Luda. And, uh... I'm a firm believer in personal space. Sharing it, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. Oh yeah, Luda! We're besties! Always been! Oh yeah, my bestie. You're not fooling anybody! Wait... Luda? Luda! Oh, you're Luda! You're friends with me, right? You know me? I hope so. Being her roommate and all- Oh, bam! Her roommate! You leave! That's my name! My god! You better cut the crap! Your acting is so bad that it's pissing me off! Give it a rest, Jerry motherfucking oak. I know who Leaf is. I ran into her on our first day here, and she helped me out of a tough spot, even though I wanted to, you know, <laughs> jump out of a window. Uh, like I give a rat a tass ass what happened. Uh, you two have wasted my time enough today. I've got places to go and things to do. Smell ya! Smell ya? What does that even mean? It's blue. He said that for as long as I've known him. And I've known him for a long time. Not that I'm particularly proud of it. So he's been smelling you for a long time? What a creep. No! That's not how it works. We're not animals. <laughs> Let's go, Luda. We'll be late for our first class. Oh, awesome. Class with Leaf. Leaf, huh? And Jerry, Gary motherfucking Oak. And me. In the same room. For the next two hours, well, I'm definitely sitting next to Leaf, that's for sure. Every day, for the next year. <sighs> this is going to be quite the semester. At Leaf's beckoning, I followed her to class 1B, my homeroom class for this year. Just look at how huge and how amazing this classroom looks, you know, with the posters, Venusaur, uh, what was that Tyranitar now? That's not Tyranitar, God damn it! that's the final evolution of Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil, Quilava, what's Avakulava? God damn it! I forgot his name, dang it. Matching everyone else on campus, the classroom is big, really big, we're early. But there are clearly way more chairs and desks than necessary. Decorated antique chandeliers that look like they belong in a place hung low from the ceiling. More contemporary paintings of Pokemon line the marble walls. I can recognize all of them from books I've read and TV shows I've watched in the past. I wonder if I'll be able to see any of them here. This place rivals loyalty. I feel so out of place. May, I can't believe we're in the same homeroom. These coincidences are just piling up today. Small world, I see you. And Lee finally got acquainted. May, do you remember the guy I told you about when we first met our homeroom match? Turns out you knew him all along. Oh, Luda! Since you ran ahead without us after breakfast, now I can't believe how you got lost on the first day. That's okay. A strong sense of adventure is a good thing. I'll never be able to live this down, will I? A boy, stranded in the forbidden territory of the terrible senior girls, sensing impending doom. He picked his poison and sought refuge in an abysmal bathroom of the fairer sex. It was then a beautiful maiden, a girl he knew nothing about, happened to stumble upon him at the right time, pulling him into the light and guiding him to sanctuary. Okay, you're kind of, you know, embellishing it just a little bit, Leaf. Thank you for the epic summary. And you're the one who forced me into the bathroom. I like my window idea. Yeah, it, it would have been pretty good, you know, despite me breaking an ankle or two. Leaf performs a curtsy in response. She's so unbelievably smug. But it kind of fits her, to be honest, you know? I don't know, just something about her face, the way she smiles, like, smugness actually fits her, and not in a bad way, you know? Some people just, when they look smug and when they act smug, you're just like, oh, oh my god, please don't do that. Or like, what the fuck? You're just like, oh, it just, you, it makes you kind of dislike them. But with her, for some reason, it kind of fits her. I don't know, maybe it's just boobs I'm seeing. God damn it, I am Luda after all, right? 
I'm not fully embracing the character right now. Since you're here, May, I'm assuming Brendan's in another class. Brendan's in class 1A next door. Oh, in Birch's class. You should tell your father, May, that his recent article regarding the pros and cons of invasive bug Pokemon or biological control or as biological control has been well received. I'm very impressed. What the fuck? That's Professor Oak. Oh my god, did he undergo Botox or something? Plastic surgery? He looks 20 years younger. What the fuck, Oak? Professor! Hello, Luda. Great to see you've settled in nicely here. I guess Dad's work in the field's been paying off. For the last couple of years, if not a swarm of if it's not a swarm of Beedrill chasing him around, it'd be a Riados or the occasional Scyther. Ah, uh, are you well versed in bug types, May? I assume you've gained a lot of experience while assisting your father's work. I wouldn't go that far. I'm not too interested in bug types to begin with. Seems May knows Professor Oak through her father. I wonder how many more students the staff or how many students know the staff through personal connections. I see. So what Pokemon types will you three be focusing on this year? Fire and fighting. Grass and electric over here. Oh, electric. She went the, I mean, it's understandable. Her name is Leaf. Of course she went with grass, but electric. Hmm. Um, fire and dragon for me. Excellent choices all around. Well, I hope all of you are ready. The bell will ring soon, and so go ahead and find yourselves a seat. Let's sit together, May. No, 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 leave, leave, leave. Or May. Dang it. So? What do you think of leave, Luda? Absolutely charming. <laughs> She's a lot of fun to be around. Come sit by us. Alright, I'll do that. As long as I don't sit next to GMO, I'm fine. Well, I sure as hell won't sit by GMO. I'll gladly accept May's offer. Good morning, and welcome to your first class at Kobu Khan Academy. I'll be your teacher for this homeroom. You can call me Oak, like the tree, but most people simply call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Isn't this like the speech that he gives at the beginning of, of, the, of the game in blue, yellow, and red? I think I could skip this part. You're all smart enough to know what Pokemon are. Of course, that's why we're here. I can't believe we're hearing Professor Oak talk about right in front of us. The man's a legend. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Du -du 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 -du. Professor Oak. I know, my dad's a huge fan of his. He's got all his encyclopedias, from A to Z. Oh man, he's gonna flip when I tell him I'm in his class. Even outside of Kanto, everyone knows him. I didn't know he was looked up to by so many people. He's like a superhero to them. But to me, he's just my neighbor that's trying to get with my mom. Right, Oak? I know what you're up to. No. Something you need to know about this class is that it's extremely difficult. Last year, almost half of this class failed. What? That's crazy! Holy crap! All of a sudden, I don't feel like being in this class anymore. Yes, this class is challenging, but if you put in the work and keep at your studies, you should pass with flying colors. My job is not to assign you failing grades, but my job is not to cuddle you either. My job is to make sure you graduate the school with the knowledge and the skills to excel in the Pokemon world. Which brings me to my next point. As you all know, Kobukan is a very selective school, and it demands you to give your best at all times or you will be surpassed by your peers. The graduation rate for this school is roughly 10%. What? 10%? Oh my god, imagine that at 90%. Like, if you look around you and all put all of the students in the room, 
only 10% of those people will actually graduate. That is insane. That's an extremely low percentage. It is not for the weak-willed or unmotivated. 10%? Th did he say 10%? Like, 1 out of 10? You gotta be kidding me. Is this a joke? What kind of school life is this? I wasn't hearing things. I turned to look at Mei, but her mouth is hung open in disbelief. Leaves looks frozen in shock too. On the other side, Blue is leaning back in his chair with the same smug look on his face. See, that's what I mean. Like Blue and Smugness, they just go like, oh my god, please Blue, GTFO. But, but Leaf and Smugness, you're like, oh yeah, it kind of fits her. Doesn't look bad. Ahem, <clears throat> yes. I just wanted to clear that up. Now, are any of you interested in competing in the Pokemon League after you graduate? Just by a show of hands. Is it me or does this seem like the worst trade-off for Ash possible in like alternate dimensions? Because let's just say that this is academy life, right? So probably after high school. So he's about 18. Everybody's 18 here now and he hasn't accomplished anything in a Pokemon world yet. Whereas in the TV series and in, in the normal, you know, I'm just going to call it the normal universe because this is an alternate one or alternate dimension, whatever. He goes around when he's 10 years old and he's already answering Pokemon leagues here and there, having probably over 50 badges and all that shit, you know. He achieved more at the age of 10, because he stays 10 forever, um, than he does in this particular universe. Like, I obviously, I mean, it makes sense why it's set up like this, because, you know, it's probably based, uh, it's a visual novel, so it's based a lot on the relationships between characters and that sort of stuff, so you need to have them at a specific age. If you already have these Pokemon or the, these characters as specialists in Pokemon, then they wouldn't, there wouldn't be much need for them to attend this academy, right? Like for example, the way Ash is in the real series, he probably wouldn't need to attend this Pokemon or this academy too much if it existed in his universe or reality. So yeah, I, I, I'm, the, I'm just, I just find it interesting in comparison, you know, that like 10 year old Ash has actually accomplished much more. Now, are any of oh, right, you show your hands, a few dozen hands shoot up immediately. Blue has his hand way up there. That's no surprise. What is surprising is that Leaf has her hand up too. I don't want to look like a wimp, so I'll put mine up. Take a good look around. I don't see anything. Now, everyone in the two middle sections, put your hands down. There are fewer than 10 students left with their hands raised. I think I know where this is going. That's the percentage of those who will actually qualify for the Pokemon League. And it is even less for those who can make it there. Now, don't let it discourage you. Let's start with some... Professor Oak staring at something. Or someone. Yes? Did you have a question? Ha! I'm just gonna say this right now for all you quitters in this room. I'm getting to the Pokemon League, and there's no chance in hell that I'm not. God, why does he always have to be like this? It hasn't even been 10 minutes since the class started, and he's already trying to start something. Yep, that's Gary motherfucking Oak for you. He tries so hard to be cool, and fails so hard at it, that it's sickening. I'm not stopping until I wipe the floor with every single regional Pokemon League champion. You're looking at the next world champion right here. Please, sit down. Um, what was your name again? Oh, nice one, Oak. <laughs> what? Cramps, it's me. Yes, I know it's you, but what was... It's Gary motherfucking Oak. Amusement spreads throughout the class from my outburst. Uh, that's right. Anyway, sit down. Wouldn't it just be amazing to hear Professor Oak say Gary motherfucking Oak? Man, what a load of... Can't believe. GMO shoots an icy glare at me. I just grin and gives him a thumb ups, a thumbs up. That just made him madder. I'm liking this class already. Right then. I think that's enough talking. I'll take roll now while we're all in a good mood. May? Is May here? Present. There you are. Hilbert? Here. 
Okay, now, Whitney, ooh, Whitney. Whitney, are you here? Hmm, Absalom the first, wait. Whitney. A red-haired girl came rolling in through the door. That was a really dramatic entrance, and she's posing just like she finished an acrobatic stunt at the Pokeathlon. Um, Whitney is from uh, Johto region, right? I think so. Because I'm pretty sure when I was playing Hard Gold, she was there because she's the one that mil uh, she's the p Pokemon leader with Miltank, like the third or the fourth gym leader. I think is the third. Here I am. I'm not late. I was just waiting for the perfect time to make my grand entrance. She calmly sits down in the empty chair in front of me, like it's not uh, like nothing happened. I have to say, I'm impressed with her ability to keep a straight face after that performance. Please continue. All right, I'll mark you on time, but no more of that. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You can count on me. Very good. Now, Flannery. I'm here. Flannery. The name sounds familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on from where. Flannery definitely sounds familiar. I'm, I'm starting to think that it might be one of the Elite Four and one of the other... I can't quite know. I think I'm off with that one. Sorry, I don't remember where exactly Flannery is from. Sorry, not a big fan of mornings. Fan or not, try and get to class on time from now on. I'll mark you on time too. Yeah, okay. Flannery collapses into a chair next to me. Looking at her from up close, she seems kind of intimidating. Her hair and face reminds me of some of those biker gang chicks I see on TV. She doesn't look too good. Maybe I should say something to her. Hmm, on some coffee, rough morning, huh? Say nothing. Eh, it's not, not wrong to start a conversation, right? Especially with Flannery. You must have had a bad time getting here. She turns and glares or stares straight into my eyes. All of a sudden, the exhaustion in her face disappears, and I see fire in her eyes. Who wants to know? Uh, I just thought that, you know, you kind of look tired. Not anymore, though. How about you mind your own business? I don't remember asking for your opinion or, on anything. Chill out, Flan. I'm sure he didn't mean anything by it. Finally, a voice of reason. Oh, thank you, Whitney. It's the first day. You should keep it on a, a little on the down low, girl. Psh. Girl. You'll have to ease up on Flannery. She's a little rough around the edges in the morning. A little? No, I understand. Morning isn't exactly my favorite time of day either. Heh. <laughs> We're almost late because Flan slept through all of her alarm clocks. They don't work, Whitney. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. I think it's because your snore is louder than the clocks. I do not snore. Hey, what are you snorking, smirking at? I don't snore, you hear me? I believe you. So you're Whitney, and you're Flannery. I'm Luda. Nice to meet you, Luda. Yeah, sorry about getting on your case earlier. Don't worry about it. Keep it down back there! Uh oh, did we fail the class already? <laughs> and with that, my first homeroom, homeroom class came to an end. What a doozy of a start! I hope I can get used to this, uh, to doing this every day. But now, it's on to my elective class. Looks like I'll have the fire type up first. Well, elective class, we're just gonna have to wait until the next video holy crap it's so fun like seeing all this uh it's kind of like most not everyone of course but most of the like the characters that you're familiar with even if they are like gym leaders in certain games and whatnot you can still see them like as students in this in this uh, academy here you know meaning that despite the fact that some throughout the game like yeah you have gym leaders all you have people that are probably considered like higher level than you better than you that sort of stuff but but here Everyone is on the same level because we're all students, right? 
everyone that we are in the same class with are all first year students like us. So Flannery, Whitney, May, um, Leaf, we're all on the same level. So no one is like considered higher or better or all that uh, stuff, you know. So I really like that aspect of it as well. You know, putting everyone just on the same level. You know, cause cause I think it would be it would it would just be so hard. Like if oh she's a gym lady, so we gotta give her a little bit of a higher position or something and that sort of stuff. And it becomes really really complicated and stuff. So I like the fact that they just used most parts of the characters, but not everything. So they look like the looks, uh, the name, certain certain characteristic traits and that sort of stuff, but not everything, not their title or that sort of stuff. So yeah. I'm really enjoying this so far and I hope you guys are having fun as well. But yeah, in the next video, we'll just uh, we'll see what our first elective class will be like together with me. Oh, it's going to be fun. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all in the next video of Pokemon Academy Life. Peace.